In the meantime, I'm gonna go play some Yu-Gi-Oh. What, you thought I was joking? Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh, a children's card game for adults, and if you want to argue with me on that one, I dare you to have a child read and understand what this does. For those of you who were wondering why there was a five paragraph essay on that card, I'll go over the basics of the game so you can keep up. As I just showed you, Yu-Gi-Oh is a game with lots of cards with lots of words, and it could be a little confusing to get a handle on things, but let me tell you a little secret. Those words mean nothing. See, Yu-Gi-Oh cards have a bunch of words, but they can be summed up by a much smaller word. No. Every card says no in a different way, whether it be no you can't search your deck, or no you can't play that card, or no you can't use that effect. Hell, even the defense stat says no you can't hit me, and the attack stat says no very physically, almost like using sign language to express your anger issues. Now that we have the fundamentals out of the way, let me show you a deck designed around the power of saying no. Every card here is fluent in saying fuck you in 30 different languages, and those of you who play Yu-Gi-Oh are probably wondering, what's the win condition? My opponent's surrender. You see, after spending the next 45 minutes edging my opponent, they will have to release, and the only thing that can offer said release is the big red button. If you wonder why I haven't uploaded in almost three weeks, it's because I've locked myself in the secret 10th layer of hell handcrafted by me, because making my opponent sit here for an hour every match also means I have to sit here for an hour every match. And if you ever wonder what happened in the Bay of Pigs, I'm showing you live footage right now. Actually, it's missing something. Okay, that's better. Fellow bug eaters, I have a confession to make. This is not a children's card game. It is a game of mental fortitude designed by the Japanese as a form of revenge for the two children we delivered to them. I personally have probably spent thousands of dollars on this game because one day as a child I was unfortunate enough to open a pack and the little shiny cardboard had me addicted. Addiction can be passed on genetically and while my ancestors chose the bottle I know they look down upon me and weep as they see me unbox more shiny cardboard. I'm a firm believer that crack cocaine is a much safer substance than little foil rectangles because at least crack kills you, ending the cycle. Yu-Gi-Oh will just make you wish you were dead. If you're wondering why this video isn't of the highest quality or shorter than usual, it's because I've escaped purgatory and I need to make a quick video before they catch me again and force me to play more children's card games. Check out my other stuff or they'll be coming for you too.